Now, a change of pace, a cyber security company has released a new tool to combat the growing threat of deep fakes. For more, it's good morning to the king himself, Image Matrix Tech editor Juro Sen. Juro, how does this work? Uh, good morning to you, Tim. Well, it simply works by going to Trend Micro's website, and I'll have a link uh, on my side later on for you to try it out. And it's a free tool, and you download it. And what it does, Tim, it helps you combat the growing threat of these fake videos. You know, everyone thinks they're pretty cool until you get hurt. And it, it works in this way. So what's happening is that someone will clone your friend or an example in you're watching here on screen, and then they'll contact someone, a loved one, and they'll be pleading for money or something like that. Now, often these calls are pretty dodgy, uh, maybe a Zoom call that's not so good, and that will play in the favour of the cyber criminals, Tim. And then... What this new cyber software tool is doing is detecting anomalies in that. And that'll alert you that, hey, the person in this video call isn't the real deal or there's something wrong with it because you might not be cluing into it because you're worried. There's anxiety when you get a call from someone who's looking for money that's in trouble. You're thinking, OK, what should I do? I know it sounds a bit crazy, but people have lost millions of dollars already from this fake sort of stuff. There's also going to be a, a higher level version coming soon, which will do a bit more in depth. And now the vision you're looking at here is an example where someone who is in a, a corporate structure, they've had all their uh, facial uh, recognition and all sorts of voice tracking taken place so that, that people can build a profile who are the bad guys of your person that is the other side of the meeting and then they put it together. Now, that used to be really hard to do. But, Tim, with the deep fakes becoming a lot easier to do now, it's a simple process or a simpler process for the bad guys to then put this stuff together and give you a, uh, a deep fake that means you will end up handing over your money. So at least there's a little tool that you can download now from a Trend Micro cyber security company that will help you out. So uh, it is starting to grow and it is going to be a bigger problem moving forward. And there are examples already of people falling for these sorts of scenarios. Is there enough public education about deep fakes? Uh, I think there could be more, Tim, because it's a really good question because as we go through all these scams, we know the text message scams, we're all clued into it, but people still fall for it. This is going to claim a lot of people down the track when it comes to their savings, corporate businesses as well, where the, the bad guys are targeting people in that, say, the financial industry to transfer funds because they've got, a, a, an, you know, they've got someone on screen who they think is real. So this is where we're heading, Tim. It really, you know, what really ramps home is the fact that you need really good bandwidth and you really need great cameras to go with these meetings because if they're sort of dodgy and things break up a little bit, it's a little bit easier to get away with this. So, uh, but in terms of awareness, there was a survey that Trend Micro uh, did and people were worried about not only things about losing money, there was dating scams, those sorts of things. So there is an awareness, Tim, but it's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. Absolutely. Now, I know you love your Mac computers, mm. but what do you think about the latest Windows laptops? Yeah, Tim, uh, I do uh, like my Macs. So I use them for production and uh, they're pretty solid, but uh, it's great to see the new Snapdragon and AI computers that Microsoft has teamed up with all the global makers to pump out. And I've been playing with a couple of them. Uh, I've always been impressed with where Lenovo's going with their uh, computers and uh, this uh, Yoga Slim 7X is absolutely fantastic, along with the, with the Surface laptop. They've got great fit and finish. And what you're going to get with these new computers, Tim, and what I've discovered is really long endurance, like extraordinarily long. And that's the stuff that uh, Apple Silicon gave for Macs. So they, they give you something different. They give you performance and they give you, you know, great duration. And, uh, you know, you've got your little co-pilot button there as well, which helps uh, you talk to the AI onboard assistant. Yeah, I didn't really use that much and I'm not a bigger fan of using it really because I want to use my own brains. But these computers are really good. So there's just a little caveat here though, Tim. If you've got software that uh, has been running fine on your older computer, just double check that it'll work on the new Snapdragon system because it might not be compatible. It will still work, but it might be slower than it used to be because it has to run an emulation. But those are things that the Apple went through when they changed Apple Silicon. But I've got to say, the new these new 
Windows laptops are really good. So check them out if you want to sort of up your game. Of course, we're going to cross to our reporter, Luke Doherty, in Paris shortly. The Olympics have caught the imagination. You and I have had the mm. opportunity over the years to cover many Olympic Games. And, uh, look, you have a member of your household, an unlikely member of your household, that actually likes equestrian. Can you, can you tell us a little bit more? <laughs> you gave me a little insight via a video message. This is gold. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we've got a Great Dane. Uh, he's, a, he's a beautiful big black Great Dane. He's about four years old. And when he goes to the uh, Centennial Park, he's more interested in the horses that run around because he thinks the horses are like a big version of him, Zuko. You've seen him occasionally on these uh, crosses. He's always in the videos. He's just sleeping outside the door. I'm a bit worried. Sometimes, Tim, he's going to come in. If he comes in, yeah, his head goes that high. So I've got this great, great Dane. He's a beautiful dog, but he thinks he's a horse. And, yes, when the, uh, uh, the horses popped up the other night on the Olympic coverage... He couldn't get enough of it, Tim. So he was right into it. So oh, we're yeah. all into the Olympics. Do it up. <laughs> you saw oh, the video, didn't was, you? Yeah. That was fascinating. Yeah, I did. I Should thought it was it amazing in Australia, of course. Yeah, it was Chris Burton won the silver medal in the equestrian. It was gold. Uh, Juro, we'll do this I'll all again next later. week. Tim, I'll actually post that later now you've mentioned it. We've got to tell the, show the people. Yeah, post it show up, the I'll, I'll repost it. Yes, please. <laughs> uh, have a good Sunday. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.